Good morning. It's April 24th. And got a few things to talk about here on the Alan Osborne show. Hey, the first one kind of hits everybody I want to talk about. You know, I've been a cheerleader of DeSantis a long time. Uh, but I, I'm disappointed in him today because we need him to go deal with the insurance people like he dealt with the people trying to make us wear masks and take shots and all that other crap. Listen, insurance in Florida is broke. And listen, and the law pretty much requires us all to have this insurance. So this is something that can be messed with, like power and water. And that's exactly what's going on. We're all being held hostage. Everybody I know I've talked to, homeowners, condo owners, any kind of insurance that has to do with your property is going through the roof and nobody's going to be able to afford it. It's going to stagnate the economy and, 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 and the governor, he needs to get a hold of that. There's no way these people should be having a hundred and some insurance, hundred and some percent insurance increases. Something's got to be done or it's going to stagnate the economy. That's like socialism. Here's something you have to have. And we're just going to get on board that the government's going to support anything private business wants to hold you hostage for. It's like a toll bridge. It's like a water system you have to be hooked to that didn't worth a damn. We don't need that kind of socialism shit in uh, Florida. So if you're upset about your insurance, uh, we need to let DeSantis know he needs to go fix that crap. Just like corruption in Walton County needs to fix that too. Speaking of corruption in Walton County, I want to move on. Uh, supposedly, what they're saying is, uh, old Tony up there on the Freeport City Council is telling people that the Maxwell suit, by rumor, this is rumor, Alan Osborne show hates rumor, but he can't confirm anything this time of morning, and 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 uh, but I'll let you know. But supposedly, the Maxwell suit was dismissed. Well, let me tell you something, folks. That's a, That was a serious sexual lawsuit that was going to take out a lot of people in the county. And if it just got dismissed, if you've read anything about it, know anything about it, I'm telling you somebody got paid. That young lady did not walk, walk away with no money or something quid pro quo for doing that. That is. That blows my mind that somebody would take the steps to say that I was treated wrongly. An attorney. This is an attorney. So she, it's not like she's like, well, I didn't understand what I was filing. She absolutely did. She's an attorney. She was the county attorney. So what kind of deal has been cut either off, probably been cut off the books with Maxwell? What kind of payout for her to drop that? Was it settled? Is that why she dropped it? Because she got a big check? from us, the taxpayers, or did she get a big check somewhere down the road from the good old boys? That's that's just my opinion. This doesn't make sense. We'll see get some confirmation on that. And here's, a, here's the latest scandal going down. Another, whoop, we're going to slip one in there on you. Yep. You see these guys? Sorry for the crappy picture. That's Danny Lidewell, Mike Barker, uh, and then we got... Uh, Mark Martin and Clay Atkinson. Now, who is Mark Martin? Mark Martin's a Freeport City manager. And they're thinking about picking him for the county administrator. Remember when old Boots said he wanted a real administrator? Well, Mark Martin didn't it. The only reason Mark Martin has the job in Freeport is because he served on the council. This is another one of those good old boys bullshit where an elected official sees a chance to get a good job and create one for herself, and this guy simply isn't qualified. I happen to have his resume. He graduated high school in 82, Freeport High School. It took him five years, according to his resume, to obtain a general studies associate degree, a two-year degree. It took him five years. Was he in the military? I don't know. It says almost nothing about his first five years out of school, except he had changed an associate's degree. Or something, something ain't right. And then he, he finally gets a bachelor's degree in 1989. So he obtains a four-year degree. What is that, seven years? And guess what his degree's in? It's in criminology. And he goes on to be a security officer, have a security officer license. In fact, before he was the Freeport city manager, 
and he's only been one since 22. I, he's not even been one uh, at the time that he announced his candidacy, six months. So this guy, you know why he's near Barker? Because he's just like him. He's went through jobs like water. I'm looking at his resume. This thing is a joke. He's not at all qualified to be our administrator. Eight months working for Freeport. Freeport has a shit show of lawsuits itself. And I already had to dismiss other people. There's no way. His last job was at the Florida Office of Agricultural Law Enforcement. Investigations. This guy ain't got no, it's another dirty cop. Uh, the last thing we need is one more shitty cop, shitty ex-cop or shitty current cop in charge of anything in this county, especially with Clay Atkinson telling them what to do. This is bullshit. So his resume, according to the one he submitted to the county, it really picks up about 03. Well, dude, you graduated school in, in uh, 82. That's 20 years. You know, he's a leasing representative. Uh, he worked in the planning department for, what, just a few months as a planner, 07, 08, staffing and budget manager, and then 06, 04, a planner. This land acquisition, medical review examiner, juvenile justice system everything he had to do was based on his degree in criminology and suddenly he pops up with a notary republic that's one of his great accomplishments up here and he was on the freeport city council so what he's done is he got on that council and he sees this as a way to spin himself into a big mess mark you're not qualified and more importantly boots are probably voting for you from freeport this ridiculous, look at you already, you don't even have a job with them, all, and you're up there hanging with them like this is all part of the plan. See, that's what we hate in Allen Osborne War. You people that think the Constitution's there for you, it's not. We need a better government than this. So, you know, his degrees in criminology, uh, most of his background has to do with criminology. Well, hell, we have a lot of crimes in the government in Walton County, Mark, but but this, this thing is ridiculous. And he goes through jobs. Let's see, three years on this one. Okay, I will give him, he had seven years at one job. This one for two. This one for eight months. This one for all the stuff where he's worked for up here in Walton County. He didn't work very long. Worked for Pensacola from, 09, from 409 to 809. In the 809 to 2 of 10, he worked for Walton County as a communications officer. I mean, I guess he sat in the communications room and answered the radio. And now they're thinking about making him our county administrator. Here what, here's what's fun. The Alan Osborne show pulled his name out because we could see the writing on the wall. You can tell when they're when they're ushering, you know, a Uriah Matthews over the Economic Development Alliance who didn't have the minimum education requirement. I mean, this is just a pattern. This has all been for show, this search for a real administrator. And this is what we've come to. Anybody wants his resume, I'll send it to you on Alan Osborne's show. So tune in to the BCC on Tuesday to see what kind of other crap they're going to do. They're also, rumor has it, that they're going to approve a whole bunch of hotels on 331 for beach goats. Hey, we lost the CU lawsuit. We can't get to the beach. Why are you telling more people to come to a beach that you can't get to? Will they park at the Odom parking lot that y'all bought from Jay that you've never built a, a parking garage on? Will they park there and go to the beach? Stupidity. You can't make this shit up in Walton County, but you can get a good old boy alliance like the one in my background. And hopefully it works out like it worked out for Mac going down like a bag of hammers. Anyway, Atkinson. All problems start with Atkinson. And the latest is watching Mikey try to pick somebody to replace him that won't investigate Mike. Only on the Alan Osborne show can you talk about shit like this because it's true. I'll see you next time. Y'all keep them straight out there. You hear? They can't keep themselves straight. <laughs>